All right, it's Wednesday night, uh, a weeknight, and I'm trying to press forward on this uh, heater duct installation I'm doing on this uh, this uh, diesel-fired furnace. Um, I've got some 3D printed parts here that uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you and uh, try and install. So this part takes two metric-sized ducts and adapts them to a conventional, um, <laughs> uh, well, this is made in Elkhart, Indiana, so uh, this is a suburban furnace event. Uh, I got rid of my propane suburban furnace. Now I've got two uh, diesel-fired Chinese heaters, and so this is going to give me heat from both of those in this one location. Um, i got to cut a notch in here on the bandsaw on both sides of that to be able to slide that further on. I knew I might have to do that, um, but I wanted to see how it was going to fit after I printed it, and it's a really easy, quick modification to make. This is kind of the same thing, but for a single duct. And uh, this is an adapter that will adapt um, the 40 millimeter heater duct to uh, an ABS pipe so I can extend the run. I'm using some ABS to get some length that I don't have. All right, we're hooking up the duct. Have to be uh, kind of careful with it because this is kind of brittle. Okay, this one's going to have to use the screw. Crunch, crunch. Come on. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta move that a little bit further. That's gonna be difficult. Yeah, I should have got more on the other piece out here. I'm gonna go ahead and just run another. Well, it is a duct. <laughs> All right, we won, that's in. <laughs> so this is uh, an ABS adapter, or sorry, this is ABS. This is PETG 3D printed adapter to go from ABS to the 40 millimeter um, um, flexible Chinese duct. And we put some ABS cement on it. We're, wasn't really sure if this would work because you know this is ABS and this is PETG. Um, I can feel it setting up, so I've got some promise that that will work. It takes 15 minutes for handling, so we'll see here. We've got to apply the butyl tape to the edge of the uh, hot water heater here, and the outer body piece. The butyl tape is the correct stuff for this job. <clears throat> I really like butyl tape. I've taken it off after years and years and just like had it still be gooey inside and not any signs of leaking. But I don't want that paper getting wedged in there. With that paper, we're gonna have to pull the paper off as we go. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's better. You can see what you're actually getting. But there was a little piece stuck on here. I want it up in there good. All the way up in there, but not. Don't want it folded up. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off here and peel this off so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> It'll squish out when we screw this down. It got a little bit longer on me because I kind of stretched it out evidently. I had some of this laying around the shop, but it wasn't fresh. So we had to make a run and get some more. Your butyl tape should be fresh. Yep. You don't want to get them dried out. I'm getting some wind out there. Yep. Right there, it could be stretched. Oh, yeah, here, too. You know? Oh, that's working. Okay, let's see. Now, out here on that end, just don't, don't let that right. booger you up. Okay. See how long it is now. huge yes <laughs> okay that might be too long um, so now we need to make the other one just as long and we don't want to be stretching it in there we want to stretch it out here so we need to add and ultimately this needs to be able to be longer than this one yeah because it goes past about an inch so Crush it, we're just stretching it out. I'm just trying to hold and it. Don't bang that door with your leg. That's probably, let's check. Oh, yeah. That's more than we want at the moment. But, well, well, we're going to need a little bit. So it's got to go past it down there. All right, let's see what we end up with. Oh, man, I hope that, that's like all the way down. Um, yeah, let's loosen it. Is that their lawnmower or something? That's their manure spreader. Oh. Hold on right for a second. Zip that out. on there down there we got to slide this over the tube okay, now you put it in the opposite direction that you had it before there's the uh there's a phillips here. Okay, 
guess that's it. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, we're gonna do this other business again here. We wanna kinda maybe get it where we think we want it. Kinda. So, ooh, see that kink in that again there? I'm trying not to, I don't want that getting kinked. Gotta breathe. Okay, let's uh, let's put the door on. I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing up now. Okay. Test it out. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up for the first time with the cover off here and see what we see. the fan up to high you hear it kind of ramping up and we're getting some heat out of that new vent I installed there it's not super warm just Pretty cold out here though, I guess I should measure. So I measure the floor. <laughs> the floor is 52. That's 76, 64, whatever. We are getting a rise out of it. Yeah, it's cold in the shop and the bus this morning, so I guess it'll take a while for it to, uh, you know, get things warmed up. All right, so now the question is, does it breathe properly with this on? I'm going to go ahead and fire it up again.
Yeah. Well, that obviously caused a problem, didn't it? Son of a bitch. It's not getting enough oxygen. Alright, I'm trying again. I took part of that shield out of there that had an angled baffle on it. I want to just let this thing get a clean burn, clean some of that crap out of there, and then I might put the door on while it's running. Let's see if it snuffs it. trying some different variations on this exhaust situation here um, you know my original plan was to have this be actually on the outer door um, I'm gonna try it now I've removed that black cap off there and just see if shooting exhaust more directly out um, has a better effect <laughs> to the auto parts store and they had a coupler that fits perfectly in that hole. I'm gonna try that. All right, I'm gonna give that a try. It's, it's um, just, <laughs> it's right there. <laughs>
to see if it'll burn okay with this on here. And if it does, then I'll consider cutting a hole in my door and uh, shortening one of those up to fit in there. Actually, I'd probably get a stainless one. I have a stainless one down there on my generator. It's quite a bit larger diameter though, so the stick out would be have to be that far. Or I'd have to change the angle of the exit point there, which I could do that too. the rest of the screws here you can see the butyl tape is spooging out nicely and accommodating the variations in the body so you can actually just come along and just trim that off if you want I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do too much trimming on it so uh, Probably worth mentioning. I kind of like these uh, these little ducts that these things came with. Um, they've got a little flapper in there that you can adjust, and they look nice. And they're clever. They spin too. Um, and actually, on screws. And I'm actually running electric heat right now. I'm I'm liking um, I'm liking being able to have electric heat and hot water um, that's really handy it's quiet um, so when you're hooked up you know you can have uh, you can have your temperature set here and uh, you know I've just got it running solely on electric it's doing hot water and um, furnace on purely electric right now and it's just it's nice and quiet and toasty and yeah that's good I'm also happy that we were able to add a heater a heat vent in the bathroom which <laughs> is quite nice and I've got it right there in front of your toes where you're gonna be sitting on the throne on a cold night 